supposed to smell like this? Cause I was like, oh, smells so good. Spray, spray, spray. Smells good. Spray, spray, spray. I want it. I want it. <laughs> like, that's just how I feel. <laughs> This is the least dressed of these things. Look at this place, this is insane. Look at the flowers, pink flowers hanging from the ceiling. <sighs> We're going. I need to wash my hands. We were at. We've been on the subway and I'm paranoid. Because we are full of COVID. This almost looks like a haunted house design, to be honest. Okay. Um, check it out, I not stop with I am her. It smells terrible. For the rest, I'm not sure, but they're done. Like, all the other three are finished. So, I guess that means they smell good because we can barely even get to smell them. This I got in a sample set from an order and it smells so good. And I also just smell the lotus flower, lotus pear, and I really, really like this. But I'm not gonna get the full size, I'm gonna get this, and I'm waiting to get the full size of this. There's also a couple more that I liked, but we'll see. Hey guys, so it's a different day, obviously, because <laughs> different clothes. Um, I'm ready. So we're going to a comedy club, I believe, Paige said. So I'm waiting on Paige to finish showering and for her to get ready for that because I showered first and got ready first. But we didn't come back in yesterday and then I was exhausted and I was cooking and just we never film. So I wanted to give you guys the haul that I promised for yesterday when we went to Sephora. Today, it's not a big haul, it's a mini haul because I didn't get a lot of things because like I said, I didn't get everything that I was looking for but i also did make the order online for sephora for the major thing that i went to sephora for i think that's coming in in like a couple days and we're also stopping by target this evening like after the show because there's some stuff i need to get a lot of presumptuous people don't are my friends that are putting their requests i'm gonna go check for those stuff and also there's some more perfumes that i want to smell that's supposed to be like a dupe of different things and given my experience with in Sephora yesterday where I smelled all of the super popular expensive brands that YouTubers and influencers have been talking about for years and raving about like oh my god this smell amazing and when I smell it I'm like y'all lie <laughs> they, they have never lied how oh, they lied before especially listen sorry I talk, let me talk about it now so i don't know if um uh, if you're a youtube girly like a youtube girly down down and you watch like american youtubers over the years growing up i know you've heard them reference by the fireplace by i think is maison something and they've referenced by the fireplace and jazz club they always talk about that and how it smells so amazing and it's the by the fireplace smell like ash it literally smell like you're the by the fireplace <laughs> and uh, jazz club smells i don't 
me it smelled musty not not like musky no, musty like if you were in a jazz club and they were smoking and everything that's exactly what it smells like but there's no way i would ever want to smell like that to each them own because to be honest i'm a fresh scent girly and because of the perfumes that i got that has been confirmed and all the perfumes that i tried yesterday and this was smelling i was like yeah everything was listed as fresh i'm either a fresh and some gourmands I am that that's this that's what I want to smell like I want to smell clean but nice like you know that's that's my scent pattern those scents those scents also don't trigger my nose like I don't sneeze when I have those scents on me like I douse myself in perfume right now that I'm gonna show you that I got and it's not bothering me at all I felt I feel okay like my nose not triggered or anything like that so I'm really a clean scent girl and I've known that for years but it just kind of got confirmed but it just when I smell them I was like why on earth would you want to walk around and smell like this why you want to walk around and smell like you're burning <laughs> why you want to smell like ash <laughs> like you just walked out of a burning building who wants to smell like this I was so confused so that it was those two I also tried what were other popular ones um love don't be shy by killian they lie if they say that's what rihanna smells like <laughs> ain't no way from ain't no way it's not good at all like i was very 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 confused angel share is another perfume that i tried yesterday and i was very very excited to smell angel share because i have an arabian perfume that's like a dupe of angel share and i absolutely love it it's it's a very spicy gourmand it just smells like a baked good it smells delectable so i've always wanted to smell the original to know like if it was worth investing because to be honest killian um paris is not a cheap brand at all it's sold at sephora if you don't know what to talking about you can go look it up they're not a cheap brand they're like 300 dollars a bottle they're not cheap at all so i really wanted to know the issue with my arabian dupe is the or my arab dupe is that it doesn't last long it smells amazing but it really doesn't last on my skin like i think after maybe like five minutes it gone so i wanted to smell the original to smell like if that you know obviously if you're investing a lot of high-end perfumes are that price because they will last much longer it never smelled like it at all like i got a little bit of spice but the lingering scent after whatever the base note is is not good i don't like it <laughs> I don't like it at all so i was very disappointed in that however they did redeem themselves because killian by paris killian paris or killian by paris whatever the some name they have won guys guys i don't know i smelled it and i was like yeah man i hate this i'm obsessed it smells so good it smells so good fam like i literally said it to one of my best friends and i was like i just smell for next year for my birthday but just i'll tell you if i know so you can see it for you because it's like 275 dollars for the bottle for like the big bottle and the little bottle which is like the little slim one it's like fifty dollars and i'm like this isn't even gonna last for like 10 sprays so it doesn't even make sense but the big bottle it's called she what it's called it's called apple brandy on the rocks it's a fresh scent so again i'm a fresh scent girly but that smells so it smells like what it says apple brandy on the rocks brandy is a type of liquor it smells like somebody mixed like some fruity scent with liquor and like it just smells so good to me like it's fresh but it's also kind of boozy and that booze just kind of comes across in the scent palette i don't know how to do it but i'm obsessed and it comes in the same bottle as like the angel share so it's really nice and like not circular sphere colors no it's not a sphere cylindrical <laughs> sorry it's really nice and cylindrical as well and it's a glass bottle like i want it so bad but i don't have 255 dollars i really can't see myself spending that much money on a perfume for myself when i work i'm unemployed and i'm a student so it literally is being saved <laughs> until i start a job or anyway i'm employed once i graduate that's probably one of the first things i'm gonna buy to gift myself like i'm obsessed with the scent obsessed it's so good it's so 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 good like oh it's so good there are also some other scents that i went looking for to basically go with so i don't know if i spoke about this before but like i do boxing i know i've referenced that before like one of the classes i do in cuba is boxing and one day 
there's this guy that comes to my boxing class on Fridays, comes to my session, and he one day walking and him just smell good. Like I was, I was like, nah. I literally was asking my boxing coach to ask him what is he wearing because I have to buy it. And it turned out to be like an Axe body spray, and I was so shocked. I was like, Axe body spray? I'm like this. I bought it immediately. <laughs> so I, I bought that, but I was looking for a perfume to pair with it. So is so if somebody smells me, they don't just know like I'm wearing Axe body spray. Like it will be combined with something, so it kind of you know elevate it a little bit more even though the scent is very nice it is a clean scent but just to elevate it a little bit more so i went in search of that and based off of like my internet research some people were saying um what was it called aqua de goya by i don't remember who made it aqua but it's like a designer perfume aqua de goya so i went to smell that because i was planning on buying that and then there was also another perfume or no i wanted to go to try it out to see if i would like it and then there's another perfume that i knew for definite i got in a sample at sephora and i knew i was gonna buy that so those were the two i had in mind to go and get i smelled it the aqua de goya and i was like no <laughs> no it's the first scent but i was just like i don't love it i don't love it and i can't find myself spending money on a perfume that i'm not obsessed with that's why it's so hard for me to get perfumes like i need to smell it and be like i can't leave this i have to have it because perfumes are too expensive for you to not be obsessed with whatever scent that you're purchasing at all so i didn't get that however basically the replacement for that would have been the apple brandy on the rocks because i'm like this and that would have got amazing together like an expensive perfume plus the axe body spray that's like affordable but these scent profiles would go amazing together however obviously i don't have the money to buy it to combine them together so i was really sad about that but that was my haul yesterday like all of the scents Paige was tired of me by the end of it and like our nose were like over it our noses were over it because like at the end of it we couldn't smell anything so how we were so we're basically like nose blind but we went through a lot and i tried a lot that were like the faves and they smell horrible so anybody here were raving not me though i'm not lying <laughs> but the, the influencers that here raving the typical things that are like have been so popular over the years i don't know to me them they smell good to me but i've also discovered that on top of the fact that i'm a i'm a fresh scent girl i also seem to be liking certain florals not a lot but certain florals it seems that a lot of fresh scents are mixed with either fruits and florals and that seems to be where i'm at or the gourmand where you know it's smelling like um uh baked good like just smelling nice so now that i've spoken for like freaking 10 minutes straight and only the girls are still here because only the girls care about what i'm talking about i'm gonna give you my sephora haul essentially so we have the sephora bag here now this is not from sephora this i got from like um five below which is like a dollar store that Paige took me to this is just a screen protector because it's time for me to replace mine on my phone which is what i'm filming on so i just got this and my case came in yesterday as well so once my octa body comes in i'm gonna replace my whole set but yeah from the bag i'm gonna give you all the main event first and then we'll talk about the other ones so this is what i went for i got this this is the seven virtues coconut sun i got this in a sample from like a sephora order that i did like a month ago people i don't know it just give and i'm not a coconut girl i genuinely i usually don't like coconuts of all the perfumes that i like i i usually really like vanillas but anything with vanilla in it i'll like it but it's not every vanilla i like like it has to be a bit like sophisticated right this smells like vanilla and coconut but not like super coconutty but this this smells like a rich girl that has gone on vacation in the tropics but you just smell she just smells expensive like and my whole thing that i've been saying to my friends for like a while is that i all i'm trying to elevate my style in the sense where i just look like i always look like i have money because like fake it till you make it <laughs> look the life you want to live dress for the part that you want so that's really what i've been look, trying to do anytime when like i have been curating outfits and buying clothes and stuff i don't know that plus being comfortable and when i got the sample for this i even have it in my suitcase when i got the sample for this 
there was a specific outfit that I had just purchased and when I put everything together like shoes pants top it was like this linen pants linen thick knit pants from like pretty little thing a top from a white top from Zara a white crop top from Zara and like the shoes were from H&M but they they were like a dupe of a designer shoes and they it looked so good like I remember wearing the outfit today and I even got so many compliments from people one on my shoes and two just my whole outfit overall they like you look so nice thank you but when my tenant say, when we smell the scent, we say, yeah, man, she goes with this. Like, the look that I have on, I was like, this is the scent that is going to go with it. This is what will, rip. it just matches so perfectly with it. So once I got the sample and I smelled it, I don't know, Sephora didn't just know me. And I had to come up and buy it. Like, I had to. It was $88 for the big bottle, so it's not that bad. It's affordable. It's not very big. She's not very big. She could fit in the palm of my hand. I don't want you to fall she could fit in the palm of my hand but it smells so good it smells so good to me it is a clean scent and a fresh scent again i'm just gonna show you girls i'm showing the girls because i know the guys don't really care like that look hold on yeah this is what it looks like right and again as i said i'm showing the girls because i know the guys don't really care but this if you want to buy your girlfriend something if you're a guy and you're watching this and you watch this long and you want to buy your girlfriend something and you just want her to feel like she's that girl like a rich girl and she just you know this it's not gonna break the bank as i said it's like 88 dollars so less than 100 dollars. it's called coconut sun it's sold at sephora of the seven virtues i think it's listed in here so every scent has like a different virtue linked to it so there's wonder balance truth courage justice wisdom beauty this one has highlighted balance so this one is i don't know i guess it's supposed to of the virtues that's what it identifies with but at the front it says peace perfume oh shoot i know it's a peace perfume because the top of it says make perfume not war with everything what's going on right now my my bad anyways the virtue for this one is balance so it's best for letting go protecting your joy and feeling presence I don't know but basically the top notes coconut the heart note is frangipani frangipani which is basically like this flower and then the base note is vanilla so i don't know as i said i'm not usually a coconut girly but this is just i don't know something about this scent just spoke to me and i'm obsessed i love it i love it so much literally where i know that when it's finished i'm probably gonna repurchase it it's not an everyday scent though and so what I'm going to show you next, I think, would more so lean towards everyday scents. But maybe even the Apple Brandy on the Rocks could be an everyday scent to me. Because like I said, it's a fresh scent. That's just so good. It's expensive, though, to be an everyday scent. I feel like, <sighs> but if you could afford it, then fine. Because if it, it's an everyday scent and you spray it like every day, it could maybe last you like maybe two months. And maybe like a three, two hundred, seventy five, three hundred dollar perfume isn't that bad if you're working to be something that you purchase every two months. And maybe I'm being ridiculous though. I don't know. But this is really, really, really good. I love it. So this is what I went for because I got it in the sample and I needed the big size. When I went, I also smelled the other perfumes. Hold on. When I went, I also smelled the other perfumes. Is this in it? Focus? Yeah. I smelled the other perfumes from the line. So I don't remember the names of all of them because I didn't really like them. But this, the Lotus Pear, it's like the pink and the pear. Again, flower and a fruit. I don't know. This is real good. I really liked the smell, but I wasn't sure if I would still like it after and how it would dry down and basically how it would go with my body chemistry. If you know, you know, and if you've been trying to get into perfumes, then you know. As a girl that I've been doing your research, you know. So I got the small bottle, so I bought the big one for that for $88. And then I got the 10 ml for $32, I think it was, to try. I'm wearing it today. And like I said, I really like how I smell. It smells good. I would probably wear this more so as an everyday perfume. And then the other one for like certain occasions. I said if I liked it enough, I would go back and get the bigger bottle. But I just wanted to try this size, the 10ml out. 
while I'm here, whenever we're going out to spray, it's like my everyday scent. When we're going out, just to see like if I like it, if I still like it, or if I get tired of it, eventually I didn't like the scent. Today's my first day wearing it out. I think I still like it, but we haven't left yet, so I don't know how long it's gonna last, because that was another thing that I wanted to check as well. Sorry if I sound nasally. <laughs> that was another thing I wanted to check as well, but the little spray on my spray for get ready. <laughs> Half of the bottle done. <laughs> So I'm just like, this probably isn't gonna last because I was like, oh, smells so good. Spray, spray, spray. It smells good. Spray, spray, spray. Just a spray the whole head for done it. So now I'm just like, mm, I love it still. Is it gonna last for the remainder into next week? Probably not, which means I should buy the full bottle. So I'm probably either gonna order it and have it shipped or I might just go back in the store and get it. But those were my two sephora orders were my two sephora pickups i'm smelling more perfumes today just to see because then if i could find like the target perfume and i like that one and that's cheaper because the target perfumes that i'm going to smell are like 30 dollars right if i find one there and then that could be the everyday perfume where you know that no bad it's like it's 30 dollars it's not that deep but i know i'm not bringing this to cuba with me and that's the thing it's like Paige was like it doesn't even make sense because you know i'm bringing them go to cuba you're gonna leave them and i spoil i want it i want it <laughs> like that's just how i feel i already purchased this i knew i needed this i knew i needed it like i i just do at this point i think i need the lotus pear as well so i'm gonna get a coconut on a lotus pear though i don't know what a virtue is for this one hold on let me read because I haven't read it because like I said it's a smaller bottle thing and it also says at the top make perfume not war as well let me read the thing page is coming out of the shower oh you have on clothes you have on towel okay so this one is best for improving focus mood balancing feeling blissful so if you just want to feel a happy feel good perfume I like this I really do like it like i said the big sizes are 88 dollars, so it's not like they're gonna break the bank they're enough but they're not huge so that's also something to consider it doesn't mention the virtue that's aligned with this but yeah the story this perfume helps to advance menstrual equality for women and girls in nepal so it's for a good cause them smell good that's what's important <laughs> it's for a good cause but them smell good so you know we say money but these are the two that i like from this brand from the seven virtues the others they weren't cutting it for me but these two the truth but yeah we're gonna go to the comedy club and then to target and i'll let you guys know how that goes when i get stuff from target oh also another perfume that i smelled at sephora that's like I can't tell if it's overhyped yet, but I've been waiting so long to smell it. Is the Kaylee, the pistachio one? Because like even while we were in there, there was a girl in there like raving like, "Oh my god, I love this perfume so much!" Not somebody that works there, it's just somebody who was trying perfumes. I was like, "Oh my god, I love this perfume so much! It smells just like pistachio ice cream." And I don't know, maybe I was like nose blind at that point. Cause I'm smelling it and I'm like, I don't really get the hype. Like I could barely smell it. But the perfume that I'm going to target to smell today is supposed to be a dupe of that one. And they said that it's a really good dupe. So I'll let you know. If anything, I'll probably buy the target one because it's like $30 as opposed to the Kaylee where it'll be like a hundred and something. And I find that in my experience, Kaylee perfumes don't really last that long. Like the sealage isn't good and the longevity of it isn't really good as well. Cause I had the um kaylee vanilla and i really like the kaylee vanilla but it wouldn't last long it wouldn't project long like <laughs> it wouldn't project far and it wouldn't last long so the sealage wasn't good and the longevity wasn't good either so because of that i'm just like it doesn't really make sense for me to buy another kaylee perfume i'd still spray it and wear it because i love the scent but it just wasn't doing what it needed to do so we'll see with the target one but to me, I don't know if I just couldn't smell it that good because my nose was tapped out by that time. It was a bit overhyped. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's just my my opinion. I'll let you guys know. But basically, that's it so far. This vlog is probably ridiculously long. But if let me know if you guys care about the whole scent and perfume things. I know my friends do because last time when i spoke about or i did the whole haul on the arab perfumes that i bought 
like people told me really well my friends <laughs> when i say people like subscribers my friends reached out to me and were like oh they went and like they trust my opinion so they went to like get it to test it out i didn't get a follow-up so i don't know if they didn't like it or whatever let me block out page <laughs> so she's not liking i didn't get a follow-up so i don't know if they liked it or whatever <laughs> but um yeah so we'll see how that goes and i'll keep you guys up to date it's 21 degrees and i'm freezing my ass off and everybody's just pretending like this is okay we're in the middle of summer it, there was never a sign of global warming it's there now we're waiting to go in for a comedy show Oh, yeah. It's like Disney or something. Is it also been called like, it's so funny because before this it was like a high 80. I'm not trained for this. <laughs> not prepared. We're fucking sucking fucks for the seven days. Dick don't work by day two. And like, it's just seven people laughing at you. Like, but naked with a condom on, on soft. Yeah, they put their own soft with a condom on in front of seven people. <laughs> Somebody got to die. Y'all can't do it. I can't let you live. If seven people have seen you on soft with a condom on, you got to murder them motherfuckers. As soon as they get to giggling, I'm walking out of there, I'm going straight to the nearest Costa Rican fucking gun store, and I'm walking in that bitch, and I'm going, I need seven shots. <laughs> not even wash it and all of them sitting there obviously we're in the apartment and so the next day the comedy show was fun and uh, we got chick-fil-a after which you know love love but yeah the comedy show was really really good i'm sorry i didn't get to film like a lot of it but i saw some well i put in some clips so you guys can see good morning page good morning <laughs> it's very dear. we finally finally have packages i've ordered these when i just came and they finally arrived because i don't have amazon prime and i didn't order them through pages account so it's heavy and it's mostly my skin stuff but i'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything that i got if you hear noise that's the air fryer oh okay this is sealed i'm not gonna open it up for traveling purposes but basically this is my shea moisture what them sure because this is not the one that comes in actually might have to open this up because this is not how i know it as it's not supposed to be how it's supposed to be brought but this would have been like my deep conditioner from shea moisture and there's two of them and that usually lasts me for like the year so okay we got creatine because all of the weight that i've lost in the past two months of walking to gym every day and doing gym and then also doing boxing three times a week I have completely put that back on, both from in Jamaica and then also in Bean in New York and having no self-control and just yamming uh, for no reason, just eating out of being bored. I have put all that weight back on. So I don't know why you're bored for that chores. Slave works. She had admit about chores. We got chores to do. Um yeah. So I got creatine for that. I didn't buy protein, but you still have a protein? The plant protein? Mm -hmm. You know it there? Somewhere. Which is the reason why we have to organize to find that. If anything, I might just bring that down because I didn't we can't bother for buy protein right now. Hopefully it doesn't trigger me. But yeah. 
creatine got this my skin if you can't tell i've talked about it at least in two videos at this point has been doing terrible um apart from the fact of the ba the botched facial where the lady basically cut up all of my face and i have to fade these scars when they completely heal this is the only one the biggest one the most inconvenient one that still hasn't healed completely to heal like black completely there's still some pink spots in it that's the only one that's like still i'm still waiting for it to heal but the whole of my chin has healed and my cheek one has healed so i'm switching up my skincare because i think my skin has gotten used to the skincare that has been my tried and true for so long which were some jamaican brand skincare and i'm really sad but it is what it is so i'm switching it up so i'm now trying korean skincare because everybody raves about this an influencer that i follow she said that this basically cleared the whole of our skin up she wasn't working with them it wasn't a brand that she was working with she was just like doing her regular like fitness vlog and then she mentioned it so i decided to get it from off of amazon i think it was like 16 dollars. the brand is uh, good all and it's a green tangerine vitamin c dark spot care serum fingers crossed but i think it's a pretty good size it came early which i'm really glad about because it was supposed to come on the between the 12th and the time when i was leaving let me tear in the box because something not come out between then and the time i was leaving and today's the eighth so it came way earlier this is what it looks like it's a good size serum they give you a good amount so very excited about that can't start using it all now but yeah so that's for my skin most of the stuff in here for our skin stuff i also decided to try out like the advanced snail all-in-one cream this is going to be my moisturizer for a while so i didn't get the snail mucin i see that ph has it in our bathroom but no no we just can't get behind it i feel like it's a very thick like clear gel and maybe i don't know every time i'm morning like, oh my god this is so beautiful every time i have it on so, so like what does it do like fix your texture or it's just, just more hydration for me so it just kind of make you look glowy yeah okay I got the moisturizer, fingers crossed. The moisturizer was good too. I had both of them and then yeah. It done? The yeah, moisturizer finished. Finish, yeah. Well it says that this is the all in one See, cream. You told me what you were getting, we could have went into Marshall and like, got that frap and rice. We never know my girl. But you're not telling me what you, you never want. asked me. Though. I did, I said what you want, what you shopping. That's for? such a general thing though. You've met me. <laughs> I'm a shopaholic. See, she, they can't see you looking like you need to come over so they can't see you looking. So yeah, um, it says all in one, formulated with 92% snail secretion filtrate, which is mucin. If you don't know, mucin is mucus. This cream helps naturally create an appealing glow and healthy skin. My skin needs it. Again, another Korean skincare product. Here's hoping that she helps because the moisturizer I've been using again was a Jamaican brand and I didn't love it anyways so yeah I got colostrum powder this is something that I'm trying I'm trying to reset my gut I thought this would be bigger though to be honest but um, Dana and I had a whole like conversation about like resetting our guts and all of them something there and not like to make your belly not be big anymore but just overall gut health and it's kind of like the concept of like a washout, like just, you know, factory reset your stomach. Like your stomach has been through a lot. If you haven't done like any washouts or anything like that or anything to really like help assist in the healing of your guts, then I'd say look into the benefits of colostrum and uh, do your own research. I was looking this up for a good while and reading up on it before deciding to get it. I thought it was way bigger, to be honest. <laughs> But it has 60 servings in it, so it's good. That should be good for two months, I think. So that's what this is. Mind you, you know, this is these things ain't cheap. Health things are not cheap, I promise you. So I'm really surprised that that's the bottom, but whatever. Okay. Next thing is an antimicrobial spray. So skin smart antimicrobial facial cleanser, cleanse away bacteria without drying. So basically, what this is, this is kind of like I think TikTok famous or tiktok viral right now but essentially if you train and you like work out in the gym or if you do boxing like i do which was the main reason why i got this and you're not able to like wash your face same time go to any party and you're not able to like wash your face same time 
okay yeah i was making sure she wasn't flashing you guys and you're not able to wash your face same time or you're on the road and you have other things to do um this is gonna be really really good for you this is your best friend it also helps in combating against like the bacteria that causes breakouts in your face so that's mainly why i got this mostly because when i'm at boxing i sweat a lot obviously because i'm exercising and i tend to put the dirty boxing um glove on my face Ew. especially when you have to be like blocking it has to touch your skin essentially there's no way to avoid that and i'm not the only person that uses the glove that i use because i don't have my own personal glove for boxing i didn't buy it yet so i think i might buy it like when i'm done this year it just me just couldn't bother and i like the, the glove that i use at gym and it's like 80 dollars on amazon i'm like no but i'm not the only person that uses that and obviously it's not clean in between every use to like clean off so i also think that might have been what started causing like breakouts with my cheeks as well even though those get your own gloves you could have bought your own gloves here i could have given you the gloves that i have at my house in jamaica you know she never tell me none of this before she never tell me, said, me could I get the dull gloves in a J.A. She didn't tell me that. Didn't and then after, say. she cussed me. <laughs> so yeah. See, and then it, me. I'm the villain. Because you're not telling me what you need. Yeah. I did not know you do not have your own gloves. Ew. You're the ones at the gym. Those stink it up. They're always stink. I have my wraps. I yeah, should have the, wraps the, in the here. Stink. Ew. Yeah. I hate using all those gloves. Mind you, this was my first this was my first year of boxing so i didn't know if i was gonna like it or not so just like get up and go come to buying the gloves or whatever so granted i could have maybe purchased like after maybe six months in i started boxing in november if i haven't spoken about it yet i know we're in what august so almost a year now and we go together real bad <laughs> so i could have bought my own i was planning to buy my own this summer but i'm just like I don't know if I'm even going to be able to keep up with it now that it's internship year in Cuba. I'm going to be busy a lot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with my sessions and everything. So that's that. Anyways, I got this for that. You're supposed to like wash your face or rinse your face with like water. And then you spray this on your face to prevent or kill any bacteria that would be causing breakouts or acne. You can also use it on like your back if you get back me from like working out um from like with sports bras and all them something there some people get um what is it called when you get acne on your, your bum? But acne or back me? No man, back me on your back, your bottom. Some people get like acne on their their glutes as well. You could it's spray tushy. this tushy acne. You could spray this and it will help with that so basically it says facial cleanser cleanse away bacteria without drying skin um it's invisible on skin no flaky residue so morning after workouts end of day essentially i'm only going to be using it post workout so i'll probably keep it in my workout bag or keep it in my bag in cuba and direction apply solution of sm skin smart antimicrobial to flush away dirt debris that may be on affected skin Spray skin with Skin Smart Antimicrobial and let air dry for two or more times daily as needed. But yeah. Skin effects. In rare cases, a mild stinging sensation may occur. Let's hope I'm not rare. But the main thing that's in it, the main ingredient is hypochlorous acid. You can do your own research on that and what it does. But essentially, it's. I think it's also... It's bleach them say it you know yeah. hypochlorous acid i think it's also a component that's in bleach but it's not anything that's gonna like destroy your skin it's literally the tiniest tiniest amount so it's safe to use it's 0.018 percent so if anybody wants to get this you've been struggling in gym with working out on your skin that seems like a good investment this is a birthday gift <laughs> showing it anyways the person who asked for this no it reached so i'm bringing it down for her and uh, moving on all right so again to try and fade my spots i'm switching serums i'm still gonna my mom already bought my usual serums that i use which is the 1962 skincare that's my tried and true she's worked for me for like two years like i swear by that serum for so long it's also very hard to get in jamaica because as them drop everybody buys them so i i buy it in bulk to tell you like my mom knows anytime she sees she have to buy like four one time and put it down to come back at jamaica however my skin is now used to it which sucks 
a bunch but that is what it is so i'm switching i'm gonna try this out this is the ebanel dr lightning ultra potent facial cream dark spot corrector it has synovia plus four butyl what is this resorcinol basically it has alpha arbutin aha bha niacinamide peptides kojic acid retinol green tea it have everything every ingredient one known for fade dark spot dark spots basically in this so here's hoping because i just everything in my arsenal needs to go up against big boss here on my nose because i'm so insecure about it and i hate the spot that is there so much i don't usually have the best luck with fading dark spots on my skin a product either work amazing for me or it just not work at all so fingers crossed to this work please because i need it to be gone but yeah this is now my new serum let me open it up and show you guys these vlogs will be long because not me sitting down and talking so long i've already been talking for 13 minutes oh no and the one yesterday we were talking about fragrance that was like 10 minutes as well this is what it looks like hopefully it lasts long because i'm not buying like a second one i just want to try it out and see how it goes but yeah that's that that's my serum or additional serum along with the vitamin c one we'll see basically a sunblock sunscreen whatever you call it i got the la roche posay one everybody's been raving about this it doesn't leave a white cast and it's not heavy so hopefully it works well i got the mineral one because i don't know in my mind mineral sunscreens are better than the chemical ones so that's that got that another skincare thing again korean skincare i didn't only get korean skincare but there's only one product apart from the sunscreen i also got korean sunscreen so that's not even fair to say there's only one product that i ordered that's not a korean skincare brand i believe hero is korean skincare or american mm -hmm. hero mm -hmm. no i don't know you don't know that's uh that's my toner so i'm waiting on that to arrive and i don't think that's a korean skincare brand but this is anua which is the heart leaf anua heart leaf pore controlling cleansing oil mild so in my research i found out that apparently soap alone doesn't remove sunscreen and sometimes that can be what's causing your pores to clog and not be cleansed and also can cause like congestion and then just break out overall so i got a skin cleansing solution or skin cleansing oil um i didn't get a bomb this is sealed so i'm not gonna open it but this is what it looks like i might look up the picture and put it in if not this is what it looks like that's what i got it for to be able to remove off skin um sunscreen off i was looking into concealer and foundation to cover up the problem areas until i get rid of them but i'm really not a makeup girly it's too hard for me not even just like applying it but just when i come home at the end of the day and then to take it off and everything like you just need to learn how to it's not that hard it's not rocket science i never said it was rocket science it's, it's like it's the because i just don't like it gets on everything like the makeup your foundation it gets on everything like in the time that i've been wearing it since i've been up here the amount of shirt when my dirty up for ph like the color the net like everywhere the day we went into four and i was trying to get swatched on everything foundation got on my arm i messed up the bottom of the shirt like everywhere i'm just that i don't know it reminds me of my childhood my mom used to wear like foundation and makeup when i was a kid and everything just used to have foundation on it and i don't know i guess it triggered me and i'm just like i can't freaking be bothered with this and because i've always known that i've never really been a makeup girly in that sense with like foundation and like heavy makeup like that apart from it's like a one night where it's an occasion because of that i've always tried to make sure that i'm secure in my skin that my skin is in good condition where i could walk out my house and feel secure and feel okay without any form of foundation or anything on my skin because my skin looks good as is and then i'm gonna get a facial and no man freak up my face i ignore the mess in the background i have been super clumsy for the past two days and i don't know why I'm literally loading the dishwasher. This is why Jamaicans don't use dishwasher with unwashed things. 
and while rinsing the slicer and it says it's you know that it's super sharp look at the bloody oh it says it that it's super sharp and be careful and i caught myself and it has this humongous band-aid yeah so now i have to dress myself in true testing all my doctor abilities for all the many years that i've been in med school to see bro what look at the size of the band-aid i have scissors though so i can cut it so that's great I was almost done too. I was still even pushing through and doing it. Well, this is the first day that I've actually like been loading the dishwasher every day. I've just been hand washing stuff. And literally, Paige is literally saying to me every day, why not just load the dishwasher? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm so used to iodine. I'm so used to alcohol pad washing it myself and here I go and cut my finger okay this is gonna burn I have to wait until I prepare this <laughs> oh it's a clean up with alcohol oh oh it stinks <laughs> it's me doing it fast oh <laughs> cuz oh, <sh> <laughs> oh that stinks that stinks oh her. got it we got it we got it oh she gave me iodine but she didn't give me cotton pads. oh i don't need cotton pads it has a thing oh that stinks mm. quickly just drop it come on Oof. okay the iodine doesn't hurt the alcohol does <laughs> All right, and the band-aid. The last bit of the puzzle. There we go. Oh, Ooh, now it stings. I guess the iodine is going in. All right, we're good. you guys enjoyed my three minute and 30 second tutorial of me dressing my boo-boo <laughs> down okay i'm not gonna touch that anymore i'm gonna show you guys that though the safe end this i literally unlatched it and uh, yeah i literally unlatched it i was trying to get it out because Paige was the last person to use it and she didn't take the onion skin off of the onion so the onion skin is all up stuck in there but this shit is sharp af like yeah so that's where i messed up and i feel like it's a lot of blood that was coming out but whatever it's 14. I okay. need all right guys we're in marshall's but the stop is eight dollars marshall's not marshall in like how it used to like the prices ain't doing it for me but this fits good so trying on the rest pages next door this top is a yes she can go on the oh yes hanger thing. Definitely. This with some gold jewelry and jeans. Love it. She has not made it. I don't know something about it. How it fits. The really really good quality. It's very. It's a very thick knit. But no no no. Maybe it's how my body is right now. But I'm not loving how it's sitting on me. So. That's just twenty dollars. If twenty dollars for a top, I need to love it. Thumbs down for this one. If she gets left.
smear. Just <laughs> let's not even talk about it. Just well, I just figure out the way that I don't put no water in it yet. Let me put this on first. So I'm meeting my friends that I haven't seen. Yeah, this is better. I'm meeting my friends that I haven't seen. What too much work? One of them is texting me. She was texting me. I haven't seen since pre-pandemic. And I don't know what it is. Anytime when I'm seeing my girlfriends, I be so nervous. Like, even I, I was overthinking, like, what am I going to wear? It has to look perfect. And generally, obviously, I have good friends. I've always had good friends. Like, I've always, even my mom talks about it so much and say I always kind of have really good friends. I'm really I have a really good judge of character in terms of friends I'm apparently not in men but in friends I'm always very like picky about the type of friends that I have and obviously these are my friends I was also college friends these are my high school friends that I'm seeing and they don't care <laughs> they literally don't care like it doesn't matter what I wear they're gonna be like you look so good and, and we talk about foolishness but I'd be so nervous <laughs> to see my friends literally and it's funny it's not just them like even when i go out with tammy and sash and tammy mostly tammy will be like what are you wearing and i'm i never will, like do whatever of these maybe it's a girl thing uh, maybe it's a girl thing because like same thing with abby whenever we're going out and like we want to know like what to wear i didn't ask anybody what they're wearing this one though we're just just kind of gonna see I honestly think this is the parallel of only children. So, and I ever go to think this day, so we're not all still like this because both Paige and I are only kids. And with my mom, you couldn't really operate like that. Paige grew with her grandparents and her mom, but mostly her grandparents, like, raised her. So, you know, I got spoiled with a lot of things with my grandma, but mostly with food. I wasn't cooking a lot because grandma would always cook. However, I wanted to cook. I always wanted to cook. I was always interested in that. I'd help grandma while cooking. You see, there's a difference. Your grandma was patient. Elfrida. Did you want to? Elfrida Did you hang yes. around the kitchen? Did yes, you read up in the soup? Sit, stand up beside the stove and then your grandma carry her and make your put no. your finger for make marking at the dumpling. Mm -mm. You never did any of that? Did Elfrida you? read up in the soup? Or did you sit no. down downstairs and play IMVU and play Pop Traffic and all of them something there? No. And then your ear page come for your food. Mind <laughs> you, this girl's forgetting. We literally used to have sleepovers all the time as kids. <laughs> I would be at her house. So, the time she did that, try to tell her, she had gone like, set me on a weakness. No. Because by the time you came to my house, I knew when grandma cooking, you stay out the kitchen. Mm -mm. You stay out the kitchen. She pull up your excuse though. My granny, you see, like for example, if me, like say, put your finger for me, the whatever that the dumpling. If you me, ask, you don't just. You no, <laughs> but then I ask, right? Uh huh. And I try doing. She said, no, 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 you don't do it right. It's alright, it's alright. Me do, me do. And then she just rushed you out of the kitchen. Much like how you can't stand children, now I would do the same thing. Exactly. So. so basically basically i'm running late as usual and uh, <laughs> i don't even know from <laughs> Divorcing me because <laughs> I came to New York, this bitch went to Colombia. And she's supposed to be from airport, you know. I had to call my uncle and be like, Did you pick me up, please? And because it's so unreliable again, I asked her, Uncle Byron, could you take me back to the airport to go one home? Oh, he's taking me back? Yeah, because you were complaining. Oh, God that. bless. So you should have <laughs> one cup. She don't even want to pick me up, oh God bless. You were complaining that I'm at 45 minutes from you. So I was like, Oh, what's the 
I have such a bad headache right now. I have had, I first of all, I like to start off with saying I'm a lightweight. I don't drink alcohol for purpose, to be honest. When I do, it's, uh, yes. When I do, it's wine. I've had two margaritas, two passion fruit margaritas. I've had a glass of Moscato. She didn't have that much to drink. I, I don't know what's shots. wrong with her. It ought me that wrong with shots. Shots what? What? No, 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 it's a mixed shot. It doesn't count as like a that shot. That makes it worse. <laughs> Exactly. Jungles, I taste the alcohol. Everybody here. Welcome to New York. She's an alcoholic to the point where she's a bartender. She does The generalization of bartenders as alcoholics does not stand. And just because you I've been can drinking, taste the difference between the wines by just sipping it. That means I'm sophisticated and cultured. You know how you become that by drinking. Just for a long time, alcoholic. Just for a long time, alcoholic. Chanel and Tilola, if you're watching this. Into what shadow? 